Welcome back, you sexy, sexy bastards, you sexy miscast miscreants. Ooh. Yeah. That's saucy. I'm turned yeah. on. We're getting into to Dolls, 007s, and Last Airbender. Ooh. <laughs> this time on Miscast Entertainment News. What? <laughs> oh, boy. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Bigger boat. I'm William Davis Moore. That's JJ. That's Greg. And we're your miscast miscreants. And news. 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 So, first up, yep. we got our uh, sneak peek at the new Chucky doll. Yeah. Mm. And uh, just wondering what you guys think about this thing. It looked kind of, uh, well, we only saw like an eyeball right. and a little thing, but it, it, looked too, it looked almost like a CGI image. It didn't look like a real doll, which to me... In order to be afraid of a doll trying to kill you, it needs to look like a real doll that can actually, like, you know. Right. So, yeah, I, I wasn't very excited about it. I And I agree with that one. It looked almost um, porcelain doll-ish, yeah. but in its fakeness, you know what I mean? So, if they're going to go the CG route with this doll, then I don't know if that really bodes no. very well for this. I want, pra- I want a practical effect. I want a practical puppet yeah. thing because yeah. that was, the realness of it was what made it really scary when I was a kid when I first saw it, so... Okay. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Why? Why? Chucky's stupid. I hate it. I hate the practical effects. I thought those were the worst. Ah, Chucky. With the rolling freaking eyes. Like, oh, it's man. so stupid. Yeah, I loved it. When I was a kid, man, oh, that wait, wait, thing I'm not done. scared I'm not done. me. The freaking porcelain look that you guys hate so much, I actually like. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. There. <laughs> well, what do you like about it? What do you like about it? I like it? the fact that it looks like an actual doll and not some cheesy kid's cabbage patch toy. Well, that's the whole point. Because that's like, that's what the toy was. Yeah, that's the point. But what's it do? It eats. Ow. Ow. Oh. The braid. My, my braid is going away. All right. So, so this movie... Uh, it's going to be starring Aubrey Plaza. Is going to play the mom. Hot. Uh, hot, definitely. Uh, and funny. And, and funny. And check out Legion if you have to, because that's an amazing show, William. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, Brian Tyree Henry from Atlanta is going to be in it as well. And uh, a young boy named Gabriel Bateman from Lights Out and American Gothic is going to play Andy. Okay. And what you you said that you saw something earlier as soon as this image was posted. Yeah, like a couple hours after that initial uh, Chucky image was posted, the, the original creator of uh, the Chucky doll. Don Mancini, right? Yeah, Don Mancini posted a, a tweet with Mariah Carey, which I did not with understand. Mariah Carey? Yeah, Mariah Carey <laughs> holding a sign on. We'll show it to you. It's right there. I don't, there? I don't know her. Now yeah, so do. like I don't have no idea <laughs> what that tweet even means, but apparently like he's trying to disassociate disassociate himself from the from the movie. He wasn't invited to come back and, and write a screenplay. He wrote, keep in mind that he wrote <laughs> and directed all the other screenplays that all the other movies that, that came afterwards. Oh, really? Like okay. The Bride of Chucky and The Curse and all the other oh, all the other like cheesy ones that came after. You can see his career like flushing itself. Yeah, so I, I can totally see <laughs> well, how they don't want movies, him to though. be part of that but they were like overly like like cheesy yeah I, and I, I i definitely agree with they, that they, they, they became so corny Tillman or whoever yeah tilly tilly tilly, tilly. Right. tilly. they, they kind of took the route that uh remember like uh nightmare on elm street mm-hmm. remember how like corny freddy became in in those later sequels yeah, yeah pretty much after three that was yeah it became like super campy super corny and very cringy and i think that's what to me the chucky movies became yeah so yeah, so I, I took his tweet as to be like, this is not the Chucky that I know, so or I that created. Hey, if you like Chucky though, I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody's excited. I see well, a lot of we'll excitement see. on the interwebs. So. We'll see, we'll see what the trailer holds. So, yep. uh, so next up is we have a new James Bond director, Bond 25, uh, Carrie Joji Fukunaga from uh, he directed the first season of True Detective, mm-hmm. which was excellent. Sure. Yeah, the first season. The first season was yeah, first season yeah. was excellent. Uh, he also directed Beasts of No Nation with Id- Idris Elba, who was also rumored to play James Bond at one point or many times. Um, so he's going to be directing the new James Bond movie. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you have to think about? What do you think I, about? I uh, I really have no thoughts on this, and, and I'm only going to say that because um, 
there's been such chaos in the making of this movie mm-hmm. uh, between like I, I was so excited for a Danny Boyle um, bond that when he had created differences with you know uh, Daniel Craig of all people and the rest of the guys that's the rumor yeah uh, because this is Craig Craig's supposedly producing this mm-hmm. as well and mm-hmm. to the point where they they X'd him from the uh, film I, I kind of just faded in my mind of excitement so this guy I, I knew they're going to get a, a guy to direct it but you know whatever it's it's a, it's a dude you know and <laughs> honestly uh the that the, the true detective was a tv show it was really nice but it wasn't a movie and and bond isn't like this drama it's a freaking it's an action flick guys it's you go there to see an action flick with drama not a drama with action so i don't know whatever <laughs> it's Any my thoughts? opinion I don't know because uh, there have been a lot of great directors who've taken on the James Bond thing. And I mean, some movies hit and some movies miss in the James Bond world. It, that's always been the case. Right. It's, I think it's, it's very, very difficult to predict whether or not this next Bond movie is going to be good or bad. Right. I'm curious. I'm going to definitely watch it. But uh, man, I really don't know. Yeah. I, I I don't want to I don't want to make a statement about it because it's I think it, it'd be too hard to do. I got you. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see what what he brings to the table with this one. I mean, I, I the first scene of True Detective was was incredible to me. Um, it was. He was going to he, he, Fukunaga was also going to direct it, uh, but then there was creative differences. Apparently, his script was like really out there, and they kept trying to scale back and have him change stuff. And at some point, they were just like, you know what? We'll just go separate ways and make a more generic kind of horror movie than right. you wanted to make. So, um, so we'll see if what kind of freedom he gets with this one. Probably not too much because it's James Bond. So, but I'm oh, interested. Yeah. I'm interested to see what he's going to do. All right. So our uh, our last story, real quick, is uh, Netflix is developing a live action uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender movie um, with the original cartoons co creators. Michael Dante really? DiMartino mm-hmm, and Brian Konitsko. Cool. So, yeah. So, M. Night Shyamalan is nowhere near this one. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, what do you, what, you guys have any thoughts about this one, William? Uh, start oh, Jay, with, you want to go, Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, there was, um, Netflix recently released a live action version of Bleach, which is a very popular okay. uh, anime series. I have not seen that one. And when the internet found out that now they're going to do The Last Airbender, uh, at least Reddit was fill, filled with memes, which uh, I would like to show a couple examples now, if if you don't mind. You guys want to see some? In here? Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. So we got this one. As you can see what's going on here. Wow. Uh, they talk about how, like, this is anime, and this is reality, and this is Netflix. And there's, like, a bunch of them going on. So this is just like the tip of the iceberg. Okay. And so I don't think really like uh, fans are too excited to see like their favorite animated, you know, stories become live action. You think that they're just uh, scared because of what happened with the uh, M. Night Shyamalan last Airbender version? I, I, well, honestly, I think that that's like, that's old news at this point. Okay. Uh, They're more concerned about things that happen. Like, for example, with uh, Death Note. Okay, I agree. Okay, and because things, of Netflix, Death Note and Bleach and things like that. I don't know. It's Netflix. They kind of just feel like they're buying up anything they can at this point. So who yeah. knows? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to see it because it's going to be a, a a series rather than a movie. I think that was probably what might have hurt the Death Note thing mm-hmm. is that they try to cram a bunch of stuff into it. Um, so I'm interested to see what happens with the long form uh, series with some money behind it and some good effects and hopefully the writing is really good especially hopefully it will be good you got the co-creators with it so yeah uh working on it with them so um yeah so i have high hopes for it all right so that's it guys that's the news all right guys as usual if you like our content like our content comment below <laughs> please and tell us how you like our content or tell us anything what you're wearing yeah we're all good Ooh-hoo. dang i never yes. thought of that that's amazing. Uh, I, in a public That's forum, all I think I about. That's why I do this show to uh, <laughs> to meet people. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, subscribe. We're how we're laughing at all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dudes. Bye. Peace and dudettes.
uh, we we're talking about Chucky. In 1991, there was this band called the Ghetto Boys. Yeah, yeah. And they wrote a song called Chucky. Did they? Okay. And I just wanted to read like a quick excerpt of some of their lyrics for right. the song Chucky. Uh, only if you read it in a British accent. Well, yes. I can't, yes do, I can't do a British accent. Please. Like, hello. Yes, like please. Hello? Yes. Okay. I will try my British accent. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers be wary because I'm sick. Dead heads and frog legs. Mmm. Cake mix. Friday the 13th, the nights of the living dead. Vampire arms walking around, giving his head. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> if you didn't die, I would say you got lucky. All bodies found dead. Fuck it. Blame Chucky. But this is child's play. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. Woo. <laughs> that was the shit. Vampire arms walking yeah. around giving Nick head. head. Uh, uh, that doesn't even make sense. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. Well, if they had like vampire D Their mouth, arms. Their arms right? can be giving head. They can be jerk. No, giving. they can if they're vampire D <laughs> arms with, the, with the mouth. <laughs> You know Vampire D? Vampire Hunter D? Yeah. yeah. He has a mouth on his hand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe that was not Oh, like, that's where this what? comes from. What? Uh, yeah, that is totally <laughs> That's where this comes from. Yes, I get it. It's Vampire D <laughs> giving his head. Like, he's like, I must say it. It all becomes clear. <laughs> yeah.